the National Micro, Small and Medium Enterprise MSME Awards, introduced in 2018 by the Vice President, <laughs> Professor Yemi Oshimbajo, was created to complement the activities of the National MSME Clinics. The national coordinator of the clinics say they provide direct support for businesses within the MSME space. When you come for the MSME clinics and you see the connection between the governors and their people, His Excellency and these MSMEs, then you understand that um, this space is very important and we urge governments around the world in this country to ensure that whatever it is that has been done in this MSME space, and no one drops the ball. The awards this year saw 14,020 entries from across the country, and of the 22 nominees this year, 10 entrepreneurs won for their excellence One in areas such as fashion, naira. creative arts, beauty, furniture, technology, and manufacturing. The MSME of the Year Award went to Tochuku Chukweke from Mabia State for excellence in manufacturing. Looking at performances from state governments, Edo State took the award for Best MSME State in Shared Facility, Emo State won for Fashion, Policy Support Award went to Ogun State, and the Best Emerging State in Innovation went to Burno State. Speaking on the need for government to provide the enabling environment for these businesses to thrive, the Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshimbajo, speaks on what Nigeria needs to do to position itself for the future. The MSMEs, especially in technology and manufacturing, especially in the clean energy or green economy, deserve special mention. I'm convinced that this sector will be crucial in global industrial development in the coming years and will leapfrog Nigeria to economic prosperity. The annual award show has seen a significant growth in entries, award categories, cash and vehicle awards. As Nigeria joins the rest of the world to celebrate World MSME Day, celebrating resilient recovery, this award ceremony seeks to encourage more resilience in the MSME space, especially from young business owners having to navigate a business environment many would describe as hostile. From the State House in Abuja, Keila Megwa, Channels Television News.